Praise the Lord. It's a wonderful day. The word for the month for the KICC family is Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. I pray that this will be your set time for favor, set time for promotion, set time for, for breakthrough in Jesus' name. Um, I really do believe that God wants to change your story in this season. God wants to change your circumstances in this season. God wants to give you victory over your enemies in this season. God wants to change your level, your dimension this season. You see, Job went through a very hard time. At one time he had everything, then he had nothing, then he got everything back again. Praise God. But you see, Job, in moment of his trial, asked a question which I believe it's very important. He said in Job fourteen fourteen, "If a man dies, if a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my hard service will I wait till my change comes." Job asked a tough question in the midst of his. Challenges. Sometimes when we go through hard circumstances, hard situations in life, we ask ourselves some deep-rooted questions. Job asks, if a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my hard service will I wait till my change comes. This question, I believe, is a statement as well. It's also a statement of assurance. It's a statement of assertion as well as conviction. Job was convinced within himself that there is going to be a change. He was assured in his, in a, in his inner man. It is a statement of a man that is in firm, that has a firm resolution. He's determined upon a given change or an outcome. In other words, he was not ready to succumb, to submit to the situation. He said, I'll wait till my change comes. Even if it takes me a lifetime of waiting, I'll wait for that desire and that specific change that I so much desire. This is the frame of mind which I want us to approach uh, this 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 subject this morning. It's important for us. It's time to be firm. It's time to be resolute. It's time to be determined upon a given course, upon a given result or an outcome in your life. We have we have looked to men. We've looked to men. We've looked to institutions, we've looked to establish orders, and they have failed. They have failed us woefully, but it's time to hold on to God. It's time to look to God. The reason uh, is so important, particularly as this is the, the month of prayer and fasting, we must be be uh, we must be alert. We must be aware. We must aim uh, our, our prayers in faith to a given target, where you desire a change, a good change, a God-given change. Although uh, we are praying, we are praying collectively, but at the same time, during this time, you must focus and. Uh, focus on a given course and believe God that there will be a change in your circumstances because God is getting ready to move on your behalf. You must personalize that word like Job did. Job said, I will wait till my change comes. I will wait. That means for some people, no matter uh, what the doctors, no matter what the bankers say, no matter what the judge may say, uh, I will wait Till my change comes. For some people it may mean. No matter how long it may have been. No matter how long it may seem. I will wait until my change comes. Yet for some people it may mean. No matter how late it may have been. No matter how impossible it may seem. Yet I will wait till my change comes. Uh, still for some people it may mean. No matter what people are saying. No matter how impossible it looks. Let God be true. Every man, every woman, situation and circumstances or conditions be a lie. I will wait until my change comes. So I pray for you this week as you wait on God on that particular issue that doors will open to you, that God will speak into your spirit, that your circumstances will come in line with the word of God for your life. 
in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May Jehovah empower you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Have a wonderful week.